Well, greetings, hello, and welcome back. Episode number three coming at you, Imperial Jedi here. Great to have you with us once again. So today, the theme, we are actually going to be diving in a little bit earlier than you might think, but by the end of this episode, we will have some buses running. And I'm using a custom uh, transit mod, so I can show you guys some really cool stuff about making like a uniform vehicle fleet, getting custom vehicles and all that, all that jazz. And we are using um, mostly the ride uh, vehicles from the workshop. So shout out to uh, Blue Thunder, awesome dude. So yeah, where do we start? Um, a little bit of expansion. We still need to fix some services as well. And we're just about to unlock another milestone, which is very helpful. Gonna need some credits for this ambitious expansion. And uh, yeah, that kind of like fills in a bit more of the uh, the holes here. So we are, I wouldn't say like rushing, but we are trying to get to a population where we can unlock the uh, crematoriums and the uh, incinerators. So that way our city is a bit more self-sufficient, sort of. We don't have to keep putting down like graveyards and um, uh, garbage dumps. But yeah, so like we're building ourselves towards that. And we're going to ensure that we don't have too many problems with traffic as we rapidly expand because we're going to have some buses already. And I think public transit is a great way to deal with traffic. All right, well, let's just jump in. So where we last left off, we were just on the verge of running out of power. So let me deal with that really quickly. Just take out the loan. Pay it back, take it out. And just same um, idea as last one, right? We want really fast access coming off the highway so a truck bringing resources doesn't get snarled in traffic, doesn't have to drive through a residential neighborhood. So that's good for that. And over on this side, I'd like to just throw in another fire department, which we can't afford yet. Let's push towards the milestone, actually. Yep. So at... This low of population, we actually don't have access to um, the pre-made uh, transit hub, so we're going to have to build our own, which is kind of nifty. It's probably not going to be like the main transit hub, but if we think of this as kind of like maybe an old town or something, it'll be kind of cute to um, yeah, kind of reflect back on it. And I thought we'd use this uh, big old uh, commercial square right here. So we'd probably brick across here, put in some bus pickup and drop off, a little turnaround point. Could maybe do um, a little central roundabout in here of just bus lanes. A lot of options. We'll see how it unfolds. All right, so just yeah, a little bit more um, building. We can unlock the next milestone. Get the buses rolling. And I feel like I want a little bit more commercial. Yeah, maybe in here. And then just a little bit more jobs to help kind of make this area feel a bit more attractive. And then what I'm going for with this, I may or may not have mentioned this already, but I want to make it seem like the highway is coming like second. So all of these roads were connected and they were here first. If we go back in time long enough, you know, when we have horse-drawn carriages or something. And so they don't all have to line up, but I think the majority of them should. And I feel like you won't really pay too much attention as to whether they are or not, but if they're not lined up, you would that's all you would see. So I'll take the effort to um, line up some of these. I thought we're missing one there, though, eh? Hmm. No, in reality, you do want good coverage. Having these giant gaps is not a bad thing. It just means that we're missing an opportunity to kind of get better coverage for the services already in here. That kind of makes sense, right? Um, right, can't afford that till the milestone comes. Go ahead and just zone. Maybe not all of it. Maybe just that much there. Get some pipes. And we'll be using some custom roads for our little uh, bus turnaround point, and I'll link those in the uh, description below. I think three speed's good right now. Okay. And maybe we could do just like a hint of shopping uh, along, probably like along here. Make this kind of feel like a main street as well. Okay, that should be enough growing to get us to the next milestone. Perfect, there it is, as if it's scripted. Uh, new tile as well, which is really handy. A lot of these services and stuff, we're not going to worry about them just yet. The main thing I'm after is access to the buses. Trams come next. Taxis, maybe now. And then we also need to put down some death care. So if I scroll all the way down, you can see we got the cemeteries unlocked. And we have more money to spend on uh, police and fire. All right, so fire station here, just because this is kind of like a little uh, access road. 
nice. I find that the cemeteries look really, really good at the top of like a T intersection as well. So if that really like didn't fit so well right there, I'd probably put that, um, yeah, top of a T. Okay, let's keep it on three speed just so we get some more cash rolling in here. Just keeping an eye on traffic as the city grows. So another main thing is you don't want to grow and zone too much at once because that's going to lead to what we call the uh, the death wave. So let's say, for example, we were on pause the whole time. Oh, that's a great song. I love it. If we were on pause the whole time and just zoned all of this at once. All of these people, they're going to move in at the exact same time. They're all going to have kids at the same time, be about the same age. And that means they're all going to die at the same time. So that's kind of a... Whew. So in this case, it would be pretty much like the majority of our city at the end of the life cycle will just be gone. No jobs, no nothing, right? So if you don't balance this properly, and the way to do that would be like zone progressively. Don't just zone when you're on pause. And little bits at a time. Otherwise, yeah, you'll run into death zone or death waves. Which we may or may not still happen, have happened here. It's not like you're fully immune to them, but just be aware of them. So I'm just kind of watching for traffic too to see if anything's getting a little too, too out of control. Which would signal that we're going too big too fast. But no, keep on three speed. I think we're okay. We need some cash where we're going. Expand some of this out based on the demand. And I think we're okay for services. I do want to get a high school down when we can afford it. And we're very close. Let's just do that. And then that should be it for the moment. Then we can switch gears and uh, <clears throat> get the uh, the buses going. Try to get really excited about public transit. I don't know what it is. I think I'll put the uh, European one down. Oh, actually, that's nice in there, eh? A little bit of a gap in between. All right, beauty. Nice size building, too. That's why I like using the um, uh, European and the vanilla ones. I always feel like, well, they're both vanilla, but you know what I mean, though, right? Just variety, that's all. Okay. Okay. So, I guess the first thing I want is to get a, um, a depot in so we can spawn buses. Those are really expensive. So, you know what? Never mind. Three speed until then. Actually, if we stay in the bus tab, we can see all of our bus roads in here, too. Not all of them have been unlocked yet, unfortunately. So, let's say we're... Using the square, we're going to cut across. And then all I really want is just little diagonals. Look at all the people walking, that's cute. And this way we can pick up and drop off people. And we got extremely lucky here, actually, with the, the symmetry. And I wouldn't say this is like overboard, but this might be a little bit big, but that's effectively like four different bus routes that can come in, turn around, hit different parts of the city, do their jazz, jet, you know, get people in and out. Oh, three speed's really fast here, right? Eh? Actually, yeah, it's really very straightforward, but exactly what we're looking for here. All right, so if you um, don't have access to uh, mods, what we would be doing is using the regular vanilla roads and we'd be spacing this a little bit further out because the roads are wider. But same principle idea. And if we make it really just inconvenient for drivers, hopefully the majority will not drive through here and kind of ruin the, uh, the, the action. But if you have a mod like the Traffic President and you're comfortable doing this kind of stuff, we can go in and we can find the entry points and we can just say for vehicle restrictions, only service vehicles and um, buses. So no cars, no taxis, so buses, garbage trucks, emergency vehicles, that's it. We're going to mirror that over here too. Well, that's really handy that it shows you that actually. So no cars, no cabs, no trucks. Perfect, just for the entry because, you know, we're not going to go that way, hopefully. And then that way, buses in and out. I'd argue we could probably use a bit of help. Oh, they're already on, perfect. And we'll monitor that for um, for traffic. And we can always throw a light on to give the uh, priority for for the buses. And let's just do a quick little bit of detail in here. We don't have access to too much stuff just yet, though, unfortunately. Or do we? Wait a minute. Do we have the park life stuff already unlocked? Um, hang on now. What am I looking for? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. Okay, we're taking this to the next step here. I love it. So we're going to use Park Life DLC completely out of nowhere, and we're going to make this look a little bit more um, yeah, customized. 
All right, so this park here has the ability to make us money, but that's totally fine. I don't really want to make money off of this. You can be really meta, and you can have like a park where you have to pay an entrance to get into your metro, and your people will do that, but that's not, that's not what we're about right here. So I want parks and a city park. I like a main gate. Excellent, we just unlock some new stuff now with the main gate. As we increase the level of this park right here, we get more stuff to work with. And so that can be a side gate, just for fun. Connect those two together. There we go. And like a little bit of symmetry in the process would be nice. So. Oh, that's the wrong type of pathway. That's why it looks awkward. Switch that out as well. And then something I found that looks kind of nice. This is a personal preference. Don't feel like you have to do this as well, but... Um, actually, what's the best way? So I like to run a dirt pathway in between some of my concrete pathways. Just to add, like... You know, kind of a little bit of a bedding for some um, uh, trees. And we could also use that same trick where we just uh, lay down some fencing. And then throw this over too. I can't really overlap it too well without all of them, um, unfortunately, like, erasing each other. So we'll do this, and then we'll kind of look and see if any of the pedestrians are clipping through. But I think we should be okay. Yeah, they're going around. Cool. You never know sometimes with these wacky pedestrians. And then I'd like a, uh, a row of trees right here for just like a really just simple bit of detailing. So prop line tool. That should be good. So let's turn on some anarchy. Shift P for anarchy for the prop and tree. We'll go into our options panel. Turn on anarchy for this as well. And just default spacing, actually, I think is really good. Otherwise, if we wanted to, we could increase or decrease spacing right here. So plus or minus, and you have different variables. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, straightforward, but gets the job done, right? I'm okay with that. <clears throat> and then what can we use in here? Well, we got our park life stuff. We have like a fountain or two, some plazas, a little... Uh, Restroom cafe. There we go. Park info booth. What did I just put in there? That was a restroom already. Restrooms on each end. And we'll put our cafe up here. That's cool. Now, a, uh, a little known fact, which I will show you and we will use later, is you can snap uh, tram stuff with the park life stuff here. So instead of using a pathway, we could have done a city park over a tram track, and we get the same snapping effect. I'll show you really quickly. This is the coolest thing in the universe here. So for example, we have a road that would deliver services as per normal. We're going to make sure we're inside the park for this. This is the coolest thing. And so I can take, I'll back this up even one step here. Sorry, slight tangent. So I can take a normal park plaza that is part of the Park Life DLC found in the park tab. This I can snap to any road because services can be delivered very easily, obviously, right? So over here, same logic, right? So snap, snap, no problem. Pathways, same idea, right? Because the services are getting delivered via the main gate. As long as we're inside the boundary of the park bubble that we uh, made and connected to a pathway, services will get delivered. But here's where things get really wacky. So if you go to a tram only track, so one just outside the park, one just inside the park, oh, I can connect it to there. Check this out. So up here is a no. It says, um, must be placed inside park area or along roadside. Here is because it's partially in the park area. So in case you're like, well, Mr. Imperial, sure. Hang on, I got you. Oh, cool, so no. And then, oh, I don't have my anarchy on. That makes it easier. Sorry, I thought I had anarchy on the whole time. 
But yeah, with the anarchy on, if we go back into our parks and plaza, click on a park piece right here, we're inside the confines of the park, and we're able to snap this down a tram only road because the services get delivered via the park gate. How cool is that? So very messy explanation. But I think uh, I think someone some somewhere benefited from that one. Okay, so make that look pretty again. Yeah, really neat and just like again, if you're like a console player, you're not really huge into doing a lot of mods and assets. It's a great way to stretch your vanilla gameplay. And you don't even need any mods for that. That's just a Park Life DLC. Oh, that's so cool. And then if we wanted to, we could put in uh, some plazas, seating areas. I've got some great ones by Ivania. Yeah, these kind of guys here. These terraced planters. Um, let me just type in Ivania. Oh, that's way too much stuff by her. She's awesome. She makes a lot of stuff in the uh, uh, workshop. Um, let's try planter. These are the ones I'm looking for. Yeah, these will fit really nicely, eh? Pop soda refreshment. Pop soda. Belch the best. A little bit of symmetry. I have them kind of ooh flip direction. That's fun. Because they're concrete, the other ones are wood. And maybe we can do, yeah, something like a, uh, oh, okay. Sorry, guys, I feel like I'm losing a little bit of momentum here. Let's uh, not get too carried away with the detailing, and let's try to get in focus on um, getting the roots themselves. Let's just do surface painter on both sides. All right, so surface painter, very straightforward. I'm using this to paint concrete. It is a little bit wacky sometimes when you're trying to get clean edges. So you usually want to have like a road or something as your um, uh, marker. These are going to look as good as they can, I guess is the best way to describe that. Might not be 100% sold on the detailing in here. Probably get to revisit, but not a bad little start. Then we can do, I wanted a planter in the middle. Oh, where's my... That's the one. Let's just do like a uh, an oak tree or something in there. There we go. Simple start, but a working start. So yeah, buses come in. We can make this feel a little bit safer too. And then we're going to have a bus that pretty much goes to the residential spot and one that goes to um, uh, our industrial corridor. And then just because there's buses, let's be safe here, people. Oh, it's so nifty. Hidden in plain sight, I love it. All right, can we afford a bus depot? I think we can if we do the, the loan trick. Take that out, I need 40,000. Um, I don't think we need the biofuss, biofuss, the bio, bu oh my god, biofuel bus depot, that's a tongue twister, because we're going to be spawning some custom vehicles, so let's go ahead and put the regular one down. And we're throwing this over in the industrial pocket, because this guy creates noise, and uh, nobody should mind the noise over here. Do you not create, you're a liar, you must create noise. Um, it creates noise, I have not been living a lie my whole life. All right, so Bus Routes 101, here we go. So the way we can do an effective bus route is we can have two lines that will serve uh, one side of the street. You'll, you'll kind of see. This is not really done all that well for explaining. Let me try this again. So clack, take two. Hello, let me show you some different types of bus routes. Number one, we can have a loop that would say start here with the idea of wanting to go pick up some people and then turn around the corner and then come on right back and drop them off right in here. So extremely straightforward. It's one line that does a loop on either end and it hits both sides of the street. I'm gonna pause right here, remove the vehicles it's suggesting. This is improved public transit too, which is a really, really, really handy mod. So much to talk about, see and do with this one. So 
in absolute plain simplicity, I removed the vehicles that were going to be spawning. I can select a custom type, the vanilla ones, and anything that I've downloaded are going to show up in this list right here. So I'd like just a generic city bus. I'm going to go down to the ride ones. I'm looking for city line, capacity 100 people. That's very legit. And it suggested three vehicles. I'll do the same thing. And so let that go. But yeah, principal idea right here is we don't need a second line to do the other side of the street. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. So new line. I'm going to start arbitrarily anywhere. I'm going to overlap our stops, and that's going to help us with the um, uh, line sharing. And then what I'd like to do is kind of build a box around here. And we're going to stop off very close. We're encouraging line sharing, but this one here is more or less going to get people that live in and around this box down towards here, so you can transfer to a different bus line. So we'll go through the roundabout. It's not too crazy for cars. Come through here. Go through the square about, because why not? Cool. So that's a complete line. We're getting suggested four buses. So I'm going to remove those four. And we want a uniform vehicle fleet. You also have hexadecimal color coding up here. So if you want to have a uniform color fleet, if you're sticking with vanilla buses, that's easier as well. So select our types, we did a ride city, and we're going to trust the game, we're going to do four buses. Not too crowded, not too many people, should be just right. And if you'll look, what we've done now is we've created a bus line that only serves basically one direction. So if you live like right here, and let's say for example, um, you live right here, and you want to get to the high school but you want to take the bus. You have to go the whole way through the city just to go two blocks behind you. It makes no sense, right? So what we would have is a second bus line that's going to help complement the first one. These two are a team. And so we're going to pick the same route, but just go the opposite direction. So I think this is like, you know, line 1A, line 1B. And this, because of the one way, is going to have to go the other direction. But our goal is to pick up drop off people near the hub. Line sharing, that's the way to go. Do we need to stop right there? Probably not. But again, line sharing, so convenience. And then so, we'll wait, we'll remove the four vehicles it suggested. Rinse and repeat, I know, but we're getting good at this. That's four. And so that's the principal idea behind bus routes. We're going to use them in this case to get people to our hub. And then when we grow the hub, we'll have different forms of public transit here. So buses won't really be the only form of transit, but there'll be some line sharing, some helping. But buses are going to bring people to like a metro, to a train, to a transit hub. And you can switch to another bus and um, yeah, go further in your journey. So this right here is going to take you to the industrial sector now. So if you want to take the bus to work, now you can. And then we'll just go up and around the block. Very straightforward. So that same kind of bus route we did the first time. Just a loop on each end, right? Done. It should be three or four. Oh, six. Ooh, okay. More worker bees. So we could, if we want to do a different bus, we could try. We had the capacity of 100 on that one. Maybe a bendy for some long buses. Mm, I think I had a bendy up there I saw. Yeah. Super bendy bus. Oh, there's a bendy bus. There we go. Let's say four bendy buses because they're higher capacity. All right. So we'll let the um, buses get their spacing. We'll probably see a little bit extra traffic right now. But um, if we move it on three speed, we'll see some vehicles spawn, make their way out. Here come some bendy buses. So a little bit of uh, variety. Bendy plus the rides. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's see if I can find some um, uh, bendy rides. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Have I been spawning these the whole time? Oh, I have. Oh, wait. These are too big. No, that's okay. We've done goofed. I'm going to keep them, though. I've done goofed. See, how do the buses look? That's cute and not bad, eh? And we could definitely take this 
like multiple steps further in terms of um, even more custom streets, getting rid of some of the crosswalks, getting a bit more functionality out of here. But I feel like this is a great, simple, just vanilla approach to um, getting some buses going. And if you wanted a hint of mods, you know, that option was still kind of here too. So City Park, Park Life DLC, just a little simple one-way road system here. Pick up and drop off people, really centrally located. So in air quotes, the central public transit hub. And uh, we do have room to maybe sneak like a metro stop in here. And that way people from the neighborhood can get to the bus hub. They can switch and go visit their friends and they can switch and go um, do some shopping or go to work. Not bad. And then yeah, we'll monitor traffic, monitor traffic. The vehicles will start to space themselves out. It's one of the best parts about this mod. But because we did a whole bunch of zoning and a uh, whole bunch of growth at once, this could be slight recipe for disaster. So I'll probably let this run for a few minutes between, but I think we'll wrap this up here. Wrap this up right here. And in our next episode, what we're going to try to do is um, grow the population some more. We'll box the city out. We'll buy some more tiles. We'll connect some arterial roads and just, yep, yeah, bigger and better onwards and upwards and as we continue to grow what we'll probably do is introduce some new bus routes and um, probably edit some of the ones we currently have so a little bit more room to grow for what we have in this spot before we get overwhelmed and then i think the next on the docket would be some uh some trams okay well that's it for me i appreciate you guys hanging out hopefully this has helped a lot with buses i will drop some links to some of the cool stuff i used in terms of the mods and um yeah, that's it. Drop me a comment. Let me know how it's going with your city. And if you are building along and wanted to share some pictures or just doing your own thing, we have a Discord. You can post some City Skyline stuff in there. Great spot also for some chit chat. A little bit easier sometimes to drop links and not get like, you know, yelled at by the moderators in the uh, YouTube comments section. When I said moderators, I mean like the auto bots, you know? But yeah, drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing. And I'm also on Twitter and all that stuff too. Okay, that's a lot of talking. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out and happy building. Stay hydrated and all the best.